Hello everybody, with the Phantom Hush here, back with an video. Today we are reviewing the Bindi. Well, technically we're reviewing a few Bindi things, I'm just starting off with this. The Bindi Collectible Figure Pack from Fat Mojo and Meatly Games. This is a rare package because it has the Meatly Games on it. Collectible Figures, Fat Mojo, 14 Plus, Series 1, which I never made it to second series, sadly. On the back, it has this old thing where it says Bindi.io slash three. Oh, I didn't get the tape too. Crap. Um, yeah, so I'll get right back and cut the tape. Alright, so I got the left side open. I'm going to cut open. So I can now unbox this. Hopefully it doesn't reveal my face, honestly. Oh yeah, and my thumb. Uh, that's from Clay. I, I swear, it's from Clay. Alright, the four figures. And Alice fell out pretty easily. I'll be right back and get everyone out. Alright, so starting off with Bindi with a wrench. He is really simple. And, you know, he has his um, bow tie, his wrench. Which is really detailed. He has his shoes. Painted. It's painted decently. It's not the best, but it's painted decently. He has his eyes and with a partial wink or, like, angrily smile or something like that. He has his all iconic features. He has... Um, gloves with those black um, gloss, gloss dots for him. And yeah, I think that's it for Bendy. Nothing much. For Alice, it's not that bad, but it looks kind of bad with the nose. Because, like, how humanoid it looks, honestly. It would be fine if it just, you know, didn't use a nose, but it did anyhow. I mean, Boris is uh, acceptable, but, like, this is not, in my opinion. So, her paint job is really bad. Like, like I think that varies to person to person, honestly. Yeah, you can see her bow tie, her um, dress. She is, like, she's doing the waving thing with her hip, hand on her hip. And her knee to the side, leg to the side. Her face is, I mean, her hair is really detailed. Same with her hair. She has her eyebrows, her Pac-Man eyes, her eyelashes, her mo. Her black lipstick. And she has her halo. And she does have indentations for her hair. For Ink Bendy, it's not really about... It's nothing much, honestly. It's just like the same... Like, the only thing different about him from the keychain is, which I do not have, is the ink on... It's at the outlining on his hands. It's supposed to represent ink. It's really detailed, but, like, the ink's not on there. All it is is just, like, the base of a keychain and... He has that outlining. His bow tie is slanted from the original. A little bit slanted. He has a chubbier stomach. His shoes, which is inaccurate. So, yeah. We have Boris, probably the best, well, um, best looking out of the set besides his paint. But as you can see on his, you know, his painted, his paint job's pretty bad on mine. Like, there's a lot of chips and scratches and stuff like that. See his ears, his cheeks are in black. His um, nose is in black. He has his freckles. Basically, half of his head is black and half of it's white. Like all these um, other figures have. And he has his overalls, which is a funny thing. Is like If you put this to the light, you can see it's not painted the right way. Like It goes up a little bit more. I really don't know. It looks like it. It goes up a little bit more. His patches on his legs. And yeah. That's basically it. Alrighty, so I want to thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to. And yeah. Bye.